Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am testing out supposedly a holy grail of foundations. If you have oily skin or do you just want a long wearing foundation? This is by Lancome. It is called Ultra Wear. It costs this much. Yes, it is quite pricey compared to most foundations I test and review. Typically, I like to try out all the long wearing foundations. This one here just kind of like, I mean, just the reviews of what people were saying about it. I was like, hmm. And a lot of times I don't trust those reviews because they don't do where, where they don't do test uh, check-ins, you know, throughout the day. And, and to actually really show you their activities and whether it stayed on their skin or not, they kind of put it on. They're like, oh, it's so wonderful. And then it must be the best foundation. No, I'm actually going to put this sucker to the test and we're going to do a bunch of activities today. So I'm going to take you guys with me. I got to shower and get ready. I look like crud. It is very, very, very early in the morning. Anyways, this is the Ultra Wear by Lancome. Um, yeah. And, you know, let's just see. If you guys are wondering what color this is, it is in 220 buff. I am, in case you guys don't know, I am a neutral tone. I'm a neutral color. And, and it's very hard to find my color because I am a true neutral i don't i don't shy towards yellow i don't shy towards beige i'm smack dab in the middle and this color is smack dab in the middle so this is a actual true neutral color so let's go ahead and put this up to 24 hour wear to the test if it lasts over eight hours on my skin i'm going to tell you something that's going to be an amazing amazing foundation because i have very oily skin i produce a lot of oils and nothing will stay in my nose area especially here and here unless it is the all may tlc foundation which they stopped making and that's the reason i went to ulta to <laughs> to get this because they stopped making it i went to ulta i said i want a foundation that's a holy grail that's never going to come off my skin and it's never going to go out of production like all may did you know i'm gonna stop rambling we're gonna get straight to that wear test and i'm gonna tell you guys at the end of the video my final thoughts with the last check-in I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, uh, the sun is bright and shiny on my face. You guys can see my foundation. It has been on for about 30 minutes. It looks really, really good. It is a perfect color match, as you can see. I'm on my way to church, and then afterwards, I'm either going to go to Ulta or the gym. So we'll see how far I actually put this foundation to the test. I would turn on the camera and show you guys. This is a church I go to right there. You see the sign that says life, but it's right directly next to a chicken farm. Look at that. <laughs> and yes, I'm in Vegas, but it's right next to a chicken farm. Isn't that funny? Okay guys, so I just got out of church and look at like the sun glistening off of my nose. Yeah, it actually looks like the foundation came up because I have so so much freaking oil. I do want to keep uh, let you guys know though. I do have a uh, sunscreen under this. I'm going to take my handy dandy McDonald's napkin, which I like these because they're extremely dry. We're going to go ahead and push this foundation right back down and see if the oils uh, come up and remove and the foundation goes right back down. Because if it does, that would be absolutely amazing. And remember, when you're doing this, you want to pat, not not smudge. Okay, so let's see. Wow, that is a lot, a lot of oil. Let me just tell you, I'm super impressed. Can you see that the light is not glistening off my nose anymore? Everything went right back down. And this portion right here usually removes, or right here usually removes. You guys can see how red I am under because there's where my glasses lay. It removes the foundation. Normally removes here or right there because when I start producing oil foundation just doesn't stay want to stay down in those areas but wow it is it stayed down I pushed right back down and here right back to my nose and this is the main part where the foundation uh, comes up so I'm gonna go to Ulta and go get a eyeshadow palette I'm gonna take you guys with me check in after I go to the gym which I am gonna go to the gym I need to go back to the gym I need to get closer to God and I need to get healthy <laughs> so i'm going to the gym i need to make myself a little more happier so i'm gonna go get an eyeshadow palette i <laughs> will see you guys in a bit 
Okay guys, so I'm gonna be walking into Ulta. There's Ulta behind me. This is one of the best Ultas that you guys can go to. It is the Ulta in Town Square, Las Vegas, on Las Vegas Boulevard. This Ulta is huge. Look, you guys can see we are at Town Square. It's like an outdoor shopping area. We're going to see if they have the Manny MUA slash Morphe palette. Okay, so I got the very, very last palette at Ulta. Okay guys, so I'm eating here with my brother and it's been eight hours later and I've just kind of been patting it down with a napkin because I'm producing oil. I just see a little bit come off my nose, but so far, it's all held up. Hey guys, so I've been wearing this for nine hours now. I am an oily mess. You can see the, the light glistening off my face. But, so this is where my makeup came off, where my glasses lay down. You see how red my skin is right there. It looks like everything pretty much stayed down, but a tad bit came up off my nose, just a little bit. So I thought I would take this Neutrogena makeup removing wipe and see, wipe off half my nose and see how much is actually down on my skin. So let's see together. Oh yeah. Wow. I know you can see that clear line of what's left on my skin, what's off of my skin. And that proves right there, considering I'm wearing sunscreen under this foundation, that proves right there that this is going to be a new holy grail of foundations. Wow, I cannot believe that that's how much it removed. Look at that. Let me go ahead and just take off half of my face and we can actually compare. Look at this. Look at that. That is a huge, huge difference. Wow. Yes, this is an amazing foundation. Let me grab the packaging so you guys know what it looks like. Right here. This is what it looks like. Ultra Wear. Wow. And this bad boy, I didn't even read, already has SPF 15 in it. Amazing. And number 220. So, yes. Lancome Paris, Paris, Paris. This is amazing. I hope you guys think this video is amazing and give it a thumbs up. Send me a comment down below and hit the little subscribe button for notifications of new videos. I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.